Hello, welcome back, guys. In this video, we will discuss alkalinity of water. In the part two, we will actually perform the experiment and we will measure alkalinity of water in the lab. So, here is the definition of alkalinity, which is the capacity to neutralize acids. Uh, alkalinity is a term which is used to describe the concentration of hydroxide ions in water along with carbonate and bicarbonate ions. So what are the causes of high alkalinity in water? So these are some of the agents which produce alkalinity in water. Bicarbonates, phosphates, silicates and borates. So what happens if alkalinity is high? So it can cause serious issues in uh, domestic usage. It can cause embrittlement, scaling, precipitation in the boiler tubes and pipes. And they can also induce hardness in water. So I will uh, put the link of this article in the description. So you can uh, check this article in detail. So these, these are some types of alkalinities. Okay, so we have the principle of alkalinity which is based on titration. Now let's come to the experiment part. So what are the reagents required for this experiment? So number one, we need standard HCl or H2SO4 solution of known normality. HCl means hydrochloric acid, H2SO4 is sulfuric acid. We need penaphthalene indicator, methyl orange indicator. What is the procedure? In the step 1, we use 100 ml of water sample and conical plus and add 2 to 3 drops of penaphthalene indicator. So the color changes into pink. Then we titrate this sample with standard HCl or H2SO4 solution of known normality, let's say 0.2, until the pink color disappears. At this disappearance, we note down the value of it and note it as PML. In the step 2, we add 2 to 3 drops of methyl orange indicator to the same solution to the same solution and continue the titration until the color changes from yellow to orange so when you add these 2 to 3 drops the colorless solution become yellowish and then we again titrate it against standard HCl or H3SO4 so when the color changes from yellow to reddish or orange uh, color we stop the burette and note down the tire value the tighter value from the beginning of the experiment as methyl orange endpoint mml so how you will calculate the alkalinity using these formulas so we know clean indicator which is expressed as mg per liter as calcium carbonate is equal to P which is the value obtained in the step 1 multiplied by N. N is the normality of uh, solution of the titrant or in other words it is the normality of the acid standard acid which you are using. So usually its value is 0 0.2 but it can vary now we have this 50,000 term which is used to convert the unit of alkalinity into mg per liter and then we have the division uh, which is uh, volume of the sample 100 ml right now the total alkalinity is given by m cross n m is the value of 10 in the step 2 which is methyl orange endpoint, right? And the other terms are the same. So in this article, there are some 
advantages of this experiment or test uh, I will recommend you to study it by yourself and we have some uh, basic frequently asked question about alkalinity so you can check that as well now we will perform the experiment in the lab and you will see the actual procedure in real time so please hang on to the part 2 of the video so basically we will add the standard H2SO4 or HCl solution in the burette with the help of a funnel uh, as you can see the burette uh, is attached to the stand and uh, we will note the initial value of the burette. From this initial value, we will calculate the values of P and M, uh, which we have discussed earlier, right? So note down the initial reading is uh, 0 ml. Okay, so then we will take uh, the sample and add few drops of phenolphthalene into the sample. Uh, as you can see in this value, by adding pinaptalene to the sample, the color of the sample will turn pink if there is some alkalinity present in the sample. As you can see, the color has been uh, turned into the pink. We will now titrate this sample against uh, H2SO4 or standard HCl solution of known normality you can see the pinkish color so let's start the burette and add the standard H2SO4 solution into the sample drop by drop You should constantly stir the sample with the help of a stirrer or continuous shaking so that the HCl solution, HCl or H2SO4 solution in the sample uh, gets mixed. So we will wait until the color the pink color disappears and the solution the sample solution become colorless So finally you can see the pink color has been disappeared and the sample solution is colorless at this point. Now we will add few drops of methyl orange indicator into the same solution. The color will turn yellowish as you can see in the video. So here we are adding few drops of methyl orange into the same sample, the colorless sample obtained from this step 1. As you can see the color is yellowish. Now let's start again the titration process until the color changes into reddish time reddish or orange color remember you have to note the burette reading 
uh, when the color become when the pink color turn into colorless right so that will be pml now the sample has turned reddish color into reddish color so we will stop the burette and note down the reading is m as you can see here so the reading is at 11 ml right so that is your m value the value of p was uh, 7 ml finally use the equations uh, and calculate the value of alkalinity as shown here